No prizes for guessing the outcome of this general election. Despite being billed as the most unpredictable in living memory, most surveys showed the Tories would win a majority, and they did. The increased certainty around Brexit that this election result brings is exactly what the city has wanted since the referendum in 2016. Businesses have not invested because of it, and investors, both private and institutional, have been sitting on cash ready to invest once the outcome became more certain. There are also lots of expensive promises made in the Conservative Party manifesto that will require heavy investment in UK PLC. And we hear all the time from fund managers who are currently holding far more cash than normal. All of this money needs a home. Managers are not paid to sit on clients' cash. They are paid to invest it. And that's exactly what they're doing this morning. The FTSE 250 index, packed with great companies making most, if not all, of their money in the UK, surged as soon as markets opened on the 13th. The mid-cap index was up as much as 5% in the first 10 minutes of trading. Both the FTSE small cap index and AIM all share added 2% by 9.30am. And despite the prospect of an even stronger British pound, the FTSE 100's big overseas earners are delivering quick gains. The blue chip index added 1.9% in quick time. Our series of election polls held in the run-up to 12th of December revealed that 73% of investors thought the Conservatives would have the most positive influence on the stock market. And city traders had warned a Labour victory would send the share prices tumbling, a hung parliament would mean more months of uncertainty around Brexit. Biggest beneficiaries of the so-called Boris or Brexit bounce so far have been the house builders. Taylor Wimpy jumped 13%, Persimmon 11%, Barrett Developments 10%, Banks have rallied too, RBS up 11%, Barclays 8% and Lloyds Banking Group 7%. With the threat of a Labour renationalisation programme now gone, utilities are, utilities are in favour. SSE added 10%, United Utilities and National Grid are close behind. And investor favourites are in demand. Centrica rallied 8%, BT 7% and British Airways owner IAG 9%. It's worth mentioning some of the dozen or so blue chip fallers too. Rolls-Royce, Glaxo, Smith, Klein and Shell all make vast amounts of money in US dollars. So a strong pound really hurts profits and investor sentiment too. In the FTSE 250 index, big domestic earners are hot property. Virgin Money surged 15%, Stagecoach 13%, Dixon's Carphone 9%, EasyJet 9%, Bovis Homes 8% and Dunelm another 7%. Outside the FTSE 350, well-known names like Foxton's, DFS Furniture and Halfords have been chased higher. And on AIM, Boohoo, Jewels, Purple Bricks and ASOS are really doing well. Now, predictably, UK-focused investment trusts have risen sharply. JP Morgan Smaller Companies, Henderson Smaller Companies and the Aberforth Split Level Income Trust. They're all up between 8 and 9%. And the Interactive Investor Winter Portfolio stocks are among the early winners too. Howden Joinery, Bodycoat, JD Sports, Hill & Smith, IWG and Synthoma, all up between 5 and 8%. This result doesn't guarantee a smooth period for British politics though, far from it. There are still some massive hurdles in 2020, but such a large Conservative majority does at least create a functioning Parliament that can get business done. Expect more pre-Christmas political fun next week with the possibility of a second reading debate on Johnson's oven-ready withdrawal agreement bill. The Tories' greater numbers should guarantee him success. Next date for the diary after that's 31st of January. It is possible the UK will have left the EU before then.